street knowing this woman coming out of her house is not here to make me feel better but to steal my purity to steal my holiness to steal my righteousness you won't walk down that path you won't walk down the path of drugs you won't walk down the path of immorality you won't walk the path that god doesn't have for you because you're aware of the plans can i get an amen, amen. he's crafty the Bible says she came out with persuasive words and she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. And do we, you guys know of people that have smooth talk that can just get hurt their way? You know what I mean? Sometimes you do it with your mom and your dad. You know you want something. And so you come in with your mom and your dad. Mom, dad, I just love you so much. Oh, man, man. mom, you look beautiful today. Oh, is your hair different? Your mom's like... My hair's been like this for the last 20 years. Yeah, well, it just looks so much better today. And, 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 and your mom's like, okay, what do you want? <laughs> She's like, do you want to go to your cousin's? Yeah, I want to go to my cousin's. Thanks, mom. And, and, but you come in with persuasive words. You come in with smooth talk. And that's how the enemy is in our lives. And that's how the enemy is in Gen Z. He's not showing up with a purple jumpsuit and a pitchfork. He's showing up in our TikTok. He's showing up in our Instagram. He's showing up in the friends that you think are good, but really are leading you astray. He's showing up in a way that we are defending that it's good, but really it's bad. And then we come into this point like this young boy. The Bible says that he started walking towards her direction. He started walking down the road to her house. See, today what I want to do tonight is I want to reveal to you the plans of the enemy so that we don't even start walking down that path. Okay. Okay. So, I don't want those that you were already, you already baptized and speaking in tongues at the first time. Don't raise your hand. But on the second time, on the second time, if you receive the baptism and speaking in tongues, raise your hand. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. Anyone else? On the second time. Wow. My God. And we thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Your name is great and greatly to be praised. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for your spirit. And being willing to be in a, in a body like ours. We worship you. Thank you. As we're going to come to an end. I want to encourage every single one of you to take this experience back home. Can we do that? Can we do that? Don't leave this at camp. Because this is the biggest, biggest thing that happens. You experience God. And you think God can only be experienced in a place. Only at camp. You're wrong. God can be experienced in your secret place, in your prayer time, in your Bible reading. God can be experienced just like this in that time. But I want you to develop a relationship with Him. What happened to you today is like me getting Andy. It's like me meeting Andy for the first time. He's a wonderful person. I love him. But in order for me to experience Andy again, I have to talk to him every day. I have to get to know Andy. I have to get to know what does Andy like, what does Andy not like. In the same way, we got to know what grieves the Holy Spirit and what doesn't grieve the Holy Spirit. And that way, we have a greater intimacy with Him. My God, my God. In order for you to have a man and a woman to have great intimacy, great relationship, it requires private time alone. Develop prayer life with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. 
the God, open your Bible, even when you don't feel like it, even when the camp hide, even when the camp fire is done, still pray, still develop that relationship and you'll realize, man, God, you're not limited to a camp, you're not limited to a conference, but you're here, right here, right now, in my bedtime, my prayer time, my Bible reading time, in Jesus' name. I'm in church. I'm done living a great life. I'm done living a lukewarm life. I'm living a life that's on fire for Jesus. Jesus said, Jesus said, either you're hot or you're cold. But if you're lukewarm, I spit you out. But I'm not even going to be a of people that are going to be hot for Jesus. That are going to be on fire for Jesus after tonight. Say loud, say, I promise, I promise to serve you, to serve you for the 